Hey, what's going on everybody? January flowers here, your favorite home girl. And I just want to say happy holidays to everyone who celebrated. But yes, we are back in the world of Krishan and Blueface with episode 3 um, of their show Crazy in Love from the Zeus Network. Now jumping straight into this episode, straight out the gate. We see the recap of what happened in Baltimore, and y'all, it went down, okay? We're still seeing the aftermath. We're seeing cops running around, her family still screaming. But the screen transitions to California. I believe now they're in Cali, as far as I understand. I think they transitioned from Baltimore to California. If you guys are new to my channel, like, share, and subscribe. But if you are familiar with my channel, run them likes up for the door. Let me know y'all still interested in the show. Um, because like I said, it can get slow at times. But I've been watching it because I know people want to get that tea. Now, Krishan visits the boutique. And this is a familiar boutique we've seen her go to before. But she goes to get her new hair done. And while she's in a the boutique, they're talking about... Um, I guess, does she want a sew-in or a wig? And then Krishan admits that she released her own tape. She was on the phone with somebody on live. And they was asking her about the tape. Y'all know the S tape that got out. So she found out she released that on her... Well, we found out she released on her own. Even though some people said they already knew Krishan was the one who released it. Um, She said she was getting back at Blue for cheating. She said, what other girl crazy enough to do that? Now, it is true, maybe he would be embarrassed, but at the end of the day, I was thinking to myself, like, girl, aren't you embarrassing yourself as well? But, it, like she said, it doesn't matter to her, and who else is crazy enough to do that? So, Krishan is torn, saying that she's single, but she's still with him. So, she's, like, debating with herself in the boutique, because she's not really, you know, looking for feedback. She's just really speaking to herself for real. She feel like she gave all herself to him she says that she's not a dummy and that's so people need to realize that she's very intelligent and she knows what she's doing which i think a lot of people would be shocked to hear that but i believe her i do believe she's fully in control of what she's doing and she knows that if she walks away all the drama the excitement the fighting will stop if she leaves him her stylist brings her flowers and i thought that was so cute her stylist comes in his name is L. Um, this is the first time I really get to know him. But I have heard her call him L on her lives before. But this is my first time really getting to know him. He brings her in flowers. He's like, I heard somebody needed some flowers. That was so sweet. Um, then we see the social media um, icon, Lala Milan. She's funny. Um, I was like, are we going to see Lala Milan on Zoo soon? So she comes in and she's speaking real facts to Krishan. And I thought that that was cool and cute because she was like, you know, she's like her little sister and stuff like that. Krishan seemed very happy and gleeful to see Lala Milan there. That was a cute moment. Um, so after Lala leaves, um, Blueface and Krishan start to discuss Baltimore at the nail shop. We get a nail scene. They go to the nail studio. So he was like, what you think about your family, huh? What you think how your family was, huh? She said it was some typical black ghetto shit. <laughs> I don't know. That's what she said. Typical black ghetto shit. <laughs> and I don't know. I I listened to her say that. And I was like, it's so easy for some of us to say that. You know, even though we're in it and we know that's our family. But I feel like her, even if she thought it, her saying it out loud was probably like, ouch. You see, see what I'm saying for her family? But... So they talked about the tape and why she released it. They go back and forth with insults. And it's so interesting because I really do think Blue is used to dragging people and dissing people and them not having good rebuttals. But Krishan goes right back at him. So he was saying, why would you release the video? Now everybody know what I'm working with. And he was like, I've been getting hit up all the time for sex. You know, all these girls in the world are hitting me up for sex now. They see what I'm working with. They see my man. They see what I'm working with and stuff. And she like, well, what do you think about me? You don't think these men are hitting me up want to know how wet and deep it could get? And stuff like that. And she's like, I can say the same thing to you that you've been saying to me. And he just like, oh, okay. Well, just remember who released it. Like, it's very childish to me. Um, Krishan is stronger than me in a lot of ways. 
but you know I, I can't knock her hustle so like I said they go back and forth with the insult of the nail shot <sighs> so they take a, um, a weed break yeah before going driving then they get into um, what blue faces car and then they speed off the dash now blue tells Krishan he will miss her court date they show Krishan and blue date um, <laughs> Krishan and blue face at their um, LA home or is it blue faces LA home and he says he's not going to make her court date. But the curious thing about it is I never heard him say why. He's hugging on her, kissing on her, and talking about I ain't going to court with you. You know, I ain't do the crime with you. So you got to do your court dates on your own. Um, Whose father do you think you are? You're supposed to be someone's man. So for you saying, oh, you know, I ain't commit all them crimes with you. You good. Go to the lawyer dates on your own. Yes, some people will be like, yeah, you know, he's speaking facts. But I'm going to connect to my homegirl on an emotional level. If this person has been, you know what I'm saying, giving you that D, supposedly giving you that love, when court dates and big stuff appears, you want people there who love you for support. I think people know that. People just be hard on her. So I understood why she was feeling away and he could not give her a straight answer. So it's a lot of scenery shots. I wrote that down by Zeus. This episode was filled with a lot of outside shots logos and stuff like that so the next scene we get after all the scenery shots is when krishan is leaving the home um <laughs> as soon as she leaves y'all krishan is packed up heading to the plane or whatever blue stops answering his phone and hangs up on her so now she like oh my god krishan when she was going through all that him not answering the phone as soon as she leaves the house Krishan says that love and blue was an accident. She said, I never meant to fall in love with him this hard. Krishan in the limo speaks on blue changing her life for real. When she answers, or uh, once she arrives to a hotel, she realizes blue is in Vegas. So the reason he couldn't make the court date is because he was hanging out with his homeboys. Isn't that usually always the trick? The gag is he knew what he was doing because a trip is planned, I'm assuming, you know? So, Krishan um, is uh, obviously upset. Y'all know she's upset. So, um, she says that's why he can't make the court date because he's in Vegas. And obviously, he must have said, you know, I'm just going to have fun. And she's like, no, you're lying. You're going to get some punani and you're going to gamble. You're going to be gambling the dice and handling some punani while you're in Vega. So, she gets emotional. Um, and L, her assistant, tries to keep her cool. He's trying to handle everything, you know, take care of everything while she's running around. But you can hear Blue in the other line. He doesn't care. He's like, oh, okay. He said, um, I just sent you my location. She said, you sent someone your location, Blue, but then you deleted all your replies. I don't even know how that works. Y'all team Apple, y'all can log into other people's phones and see their messages and stuff. I'm mm -mm, going to stick with team droid a little piece longer because I don't like all that. If you can log into somebody's phone, see who they texting, delete and message, send their locations, airdrops, and all that's a problem. Y'all can stay on team Ackle. I'm staying with the droids right now. I know they late. Y'all say they delayed and they threw. But hey, can't nobody jump into my phone like that. Hmm. So, she's getting emotional. But... Payback is a mother, and he may want to realize the trend. While, Ve while Blue is out in Vegas, um, he gets a charge that night. Obviously, there was a slaughter, and they're saying Blue is possibly involved. So, he wanted to gamble and, you know, throw dice and some punani. Well, the clink was right up the street. So, we see Krishan the next morning getting dressed for her court date. Her outfit is quite interesting. She's wearing, I believe, a blue or black button-up dress suit with some mink heels. They got the fur around them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. She go to her lawyer and write him a $4,000 check. She said, I'm going to just write him a check and it's going to go away. Because her assistant said, what are we going to do? You know, what are we doing here? What are we going to tell him? She said, listen, I'm about to write him that check. And he's going to take care of all the rest. I don't need to do anything else. This man is good. So when they get there, we see a lawyer named Clint. He is a man um, of an older age. And he seems to be knowledgeable of. But he was quick to grab up Krishan's check. As soon as it was written, the ink wasn't even dried. And that check was in that man's hand. Oh, yes. He took Krishan in the back room after her assistant started asking him, does this mean all this is going to go away? 
the lawyer repeats and says, I can only speak to my client. So I'll tell her. So the lawyer brings Krishan in the back. He said Krishan is being charged with possession. I'm not sure if it is it of weapon trees or if it's of <clears throat> drug play. But the proba the probation is real. And the probation they want to give her is for three years. This is not a felony. So the judge, I mean the lawyer was asking Krishan what you want your next move to be. She said, I want this to go away. Whatever's best for you, let's do it now. So he said, let's go down to the court now and... I don't know, do an appeal or something. Something he was saying they need to go down to the court now and listen to what they're going to say the charges are. So Krishan gets some family support while they're there. Um, and she gets some weed too. She kept saying, where the weed at? Where the weed at? Where the weed at? Where the weed at? She knew people in the area they were in. I think they were in Oklahoma. I could be wrong. They were in somewhere. And um, she had family there where they were. But I noticed that a lot of her um, activities are to mask her emotions because as soon as she finished puffing Krishan cries and and she cries like during the um smoking break and during after the smoking break and she's brawling like she's bawling hard y'all like she's really breaking down crying you know gee 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 the family rallies around her the assistant they all hugging her he said this is really what she needs right now a warm embrace so, as she crying with a blunt in her hand and her family, it shows next week. And it shows that Blue has blocked Krishan. Krishan says, I'm going to the club. And goes out with some of her homegirls. Um, she goes out with the DJ, um, who's going to be on Baddies West as well. Krishan and Blue fights to the point that it gets physical. They get wounds and all. Krishan's hand is leaking. The back of Blue's head is team leaky. Um, it's going down in the relationship of Krishan and Blue. Oh, yes. Um, so that was pretty much this episode. What did I think of this episode? Well, you know, similar to the other, slow. But what stood out to me this episode? Well, I have to say, Krishan showed me that she is smarter than a lot of us may have realized. And she know what's going on. It was a scene when she was talking in this episode. She said... It's a respect thing. And I had to really listen to her. So I'm listening to her. This is the limo scene for anyone who's interested. She said, because with this man's help, I've been able to feed my family, help my family. She said it was respect. She said loving them was an accident. She said it started with the respect. And I know a lot of people probably won't understand that. So let me let y'all know something. When people don't have a lot... And you meet someone who not only has more than enough, they're willing to share with you. And from the piece of the pie they cut you, you're able to help others. Yes, it is. It, it, it's quite, you know what I'm saying, a give and take. But I completely understood what she meant when she said it started with respect and loving him was an accident. Because if this person is now helping me not only feed and clothe and house myself, but my family now looking at me smiling. Like, that's something different. And I know y'all probably like, but the family was just fighting. Family hood. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Family, a hood family can be mad at you one day. Then you show up to the cook-up. Hey, queen. And y'all good. So, I understand what she's saying. Like, it's just hard. And honestly, she wouldn't be human if feelings didn't get in. You see what I'm saying? Like, if she was so calculated that she could maneuver into Blue's life. Get what she need out of him. Whatever. Popularity. Whatever. People want to say she got. Now she on. She able to do her own thing. And she just dipped. With no wounds. Enough and no attachment. Now he writing about her in songs and stuff. She cold blooded. She heartless. But she's showing y'all. She has emotions about it. And sometimes they're uncontrollable. Would I be the same in her shoes? Absolutely not. I'm not sure I would take the the chance the same way she did but she saw an opportunity and she did what needed to be done Krishan did what needed to be done so people can say what they will but this episode proves to me that she completely knows what's going on and she's opting into the situation because she sees it as beneficial um anything else about this episode um money talks <laughs> She definitely don't have a problem paying people off. But other than that, I didn't get much from this episode. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. 
But y'all comment below. Let me know. Run up them likes. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. And since we three episodes in, I think it's a nice chunk of a show. You you guys can finally start telling me what y'all think, like, of this season overall. And, um, because I wonder if we're going to get six episodes, eight, or ten. Because it's just supposed to be a docu-series, so it might just be six. I don't know. But the way they stretched out her Baltimore visit, so... <sighs> y'all comment below let me know what y'all think and how do y'all feel about the relationship because basically that's what it is an analytical deep dive into the relationship with Krishan and blue y'all know what to do <laughs> remember this do the best thing you do the best you can with what you got stay locked to the channel and i will keep you up to date with all the latest Krishan and blue <sighs> docu-series tea i'll see you guys in the next one